as well as the standard fair use policy, this video is protected under the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, 1787. Moors are awake. We are taking our place on this planet. In today's video, we'll be looking at the saga between Light the Tajiri Bay and King Abdullah Bay. Now, we've covered this in the previous video where King Abdullah Bey tried to play as Light to Jerry Bey's lawyer in her court case where he disrespected the judge and then turned around and wind up having charges filed against him. So we'll be digging into that. We'll take a look at what Light to Jerry Bey's charges were. But before we do that, Let's get into a quick flashback. Flashback. 201571, 1A, 250975, 7Z, 714492. Jennifer Castleton for the city. Uh, Karama Hawkins, Hawkins and Crawford, Your Honor. Um, Tiana L. is, Miss, is uh, uh, AKA Miss Ritchie. No, no, I don't think. No, Tiana L. isn't? No. Okay, is Miss Ritchie present? I represent Miss Ritchie. Okay, but is Miss is or the person that we claim is that the court claims is Miss Ritchie is that person present? Peace and grand rising to the Moors. I am Justice Pauline Denise Ritchie in Capitus Nolo, in Propio Persona Sujuris, in Propio Solo, and in Propio Heredes. My chosen free national appellation is Light Tajiri Bay. Uh, I'm representing Miss Ritchie and the Republican form of government. Okay. The well, first thing you got to do, sir, is come on video you, so I can see you on video because that's I'm the on. courtroom. I'm on. Oh, nope. oh sorry. On video. Oh, sorry. Uh, you got audio on. We're good there. How do I cut the video on? It, it's my understanding that Miss Ritchie um, is a, let's see, um, a universal, original, indigenous, sovereign person through the Moorish American Moroccan Consular Court. Excuse me, ma'am, but I know that's all of the stuff that Light to Jerry Bay told you. You just wrote it down and you're reading it verbatim, but none of that means anything. It means absolutely nothing. Um, and because of that position it is not consistent or it, 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 i i would not have the ability to assist her without her wanting that help um so i think that given her status she certainly would have the right to represent herself and um have assistance you know outside by whoever she wanted to have assist her in dealing with these matters um so but in terms of going forward today i don't know that the court can do that so king abdul uh, i'm gonna let you speak but speak on um uh i'm gonna let you speak if but as i've already advised you of if you're pra if you practice law it's an issue and i know that you and i might disagree on the interpretation of the law that's fair that everybody has the right to interpret things the way they'd like I still have to enforce it the way it's written. So go ahead and uh, and tell me anything you wish to say. Um, yes, you're talking about some law that you wrote that I have to abide by? No, it's the law the legislature wrote, and there's also the, thing, the Constitution, the state and federal Constitution. Uh, sir, there's a problem I heard you speak about the U.S. Constitution right. as well as the state Constitution. And uh, Article Six of the U.S. Constitution shows that you're bound to the tr to the um, the supreme law of the land. Is that correct? Well, the Constitution does say it's the supreme law of the land. The U.S. Constitution I'm is. I'm asking yeah. you a question. I'm asking. I'm asking you to paraphrase. I'm asking you a question. Is it yes or no? Is the supreme law of the land you bound by? Correct. Oh, uh, to the extent it applies, yes. Okay. And what is the supreme law of the land? Because you're telling me I need to practice law with bar members. Uh, that's not going to work for a Moor. I'm a Moor. I'm a noble. Understood. And, okay, so... I, res I respect that, sir. All 
All right, well, what I'm explaining to you, I'm asking you simple questions that will help me lead you to the process okay. which is due for Empress Life to Jury Bay, or as known as uh, Pauline Denise Ritchie Moore. Okay. okay. So now what I'm talking to you about is your oath, your authority to do anything on this land per the supreme law of the land. So I'm asking you again, you're bound to the supreme law of the land, correct? Yeah, and I am. Uh, the, the, well, just a moment. But just a moment, sir. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's not true. Okay. The okay. supreme law of the land is the Moorish, the Iroquois, Moorish American Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1787 and 80 and, and 1836. This treaty is a document of the Revolutionary War, where the Moors defeated the 13 colonies and created the United States of America in okay. 1787. Okay, not today. I have a court order right now in your hands, sir, which you're bound to. Okay. The human trafficking people. Okay, so, so let me ask you this, sir. What are you asking me to do today? What do you sir, want me, what are you asking me to do today? Okay. Today, my documentation I had with uh, third party defendants, uh, President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. and other defendants to be heard from my federal criminal investigation upon the state of Washington. Only only nobles can represent the state of Washington I, or, or, or anybody here on this land. I see this um, Are you putting the dates? Uh, prosecutor for the city of Federal Way. I'll do it. Uh, she cannot be here. She cannot live here, have a job here, sir. Per the treaty, she needs to be deported. Who does? Period. Who does? Uh, if she's not a Moor, this prosecutor, she's committing treason. Look at Article Three, Section Three of the judicial side of the of the of the U.S. Constitution, and she's giving aid and comfort, just like um Miss Hawkins. All three of you are outside of the law, um, attacking Empress like to Jury Bay, uh, named as Pauline Denise Ritchie Moore. You cannot use statutes and codes. And Miss Hawkins knows it. We, I got a uh, recording of you, Miss Hawkins, and you're gonna get it played on this conference or this uh, hearing we're gonna have on the 19th at whatever time. And I'm gonna make you a third-party defendant. And this is federal. It's nothing to do with federal way. This is Moroccan law. Only Moroccan law can be here. I'm Muslim, not no European. Okay. Only oh. Europeans can have a job. They can't have a job here. They but, can only do commerce. Okay. And that's what we're going to talk about. So the specific relief you're seeking today, uh, you've, outline, outline, you've outlined for the court this time. At this I time, human trafficking. It's on my okay. paperwork, sir. Okay. My paperwork precedes me. And you are. You better give me your oath of office and your bond, because I'm filing charges against you for saying you're not bound. You feel me? It's a matter of public record, sir. If you want to go get that, that's all fine. Three of you, all three of you, give me your insurance records, your insurance bonds. You think I don't know about that stuff? I've been investigating all you human traffickers for years. I got a judge saying he's at war with the Moors. He admits that he's a human trafficker. He admits that he's a KKK member. Right on the witness, right on the bench, and the lawyers too. They all admitted that they're at war with the Moors. Now you at war with me, sir? I don't know where you got. I don't know which judge you're referring to, but but sir, I think I think that right now we're not being constructive. No, you're so, not. So this is what's going to happen. I think we're going to go off the record. We're going to end our Zoom hearing. Is there any objection, counsel? No, your honor. Okay. No, I think I think we're we're good to go, sir. Thank you. Off of my land. Thank you. Yeah. End the Zoom. End of flashback. Okay, so now that we had a quick refresher on that train wreck of a court hearing, let's actually take a look at the charges that Light to Jerry Bay was facing. Good afternoon, everyone. It is February 10th, and I am bringing to you breaking news on more Light to Jerry Bay, also known as. Pauline Denise Ritchie. Pauline has been incarcerated and she is currently located at SCORE, which is in Washington State. Uh, it is a correctional facility that she has been 
transferred to from Kent Correctional. Pauline has been booked, uh, as you can see, with criminal trespass, second degree, and making false statements. There are uh, a total of four charges here, with her bail amount being set at $2,500. She is currently still in SCORE custody. I confirmed that this afternoon. Uh, it appears as though she potentially could have been trespassed from a building she was attempting to try to take over with false documentation. Once again, this is breaking news on Light Tajiri Bay, also known as Pauline Denise Ritchie. She is one that worked with Sharon Tracy Gale uh, in the Moorish American Consulate, claiming to be a judge. We have warned her numerous times that her actions and false liens would eventually get her picked up, and it appears that that's exactly what has happened. Morris Americans, this is your leader. She has a rather long criminal background. You're following a criminal. So apparently... One of her charges was trespassing, and it's possible that she was trespassed for trying to take over a building illegally with Moorish Internet fictitious paperwork. You know what? Let's take a look at one of the times she claims to have taken over a post office. Peace and Grand Rising. Uh, I am Justice Light to Jury Bay, Inpropria Persona Sujuris and Capitus Diminus Show Nolo, Inpropria Impropio Paredes. Did you peep that? Even Light to Jury Bay can't even remember a stupid Morris speech. And Inpropio Solo. Um, I see an empty flagpole. Um, and this is an abandoned post office, clearly it is. Um, it's open. As you can see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's open. Um, this gate. Back here is open as well. It is abandoned because there's no flag here. Uh, it's wide open, as you can see. So um, we're going to um, hoist our flag up today. So that we can have a rightful, lawful claim. Islam. So I'm going to go ahead and put our flag up on the flagpole. Okay, so this insane Morris woman comes across an abandoned post office. And in her mind, she believes if she hoists a Moroccan flag in the parking lot, she will then gain ownership to the building. This lady is absolutely nuts. Now, another thing that I must mention is Light to Jerry Bay always preaches to cancel all corporate contracts. I am Justice Pauline Denise Ritchie in Capitus Diminu Shonolo, in Propria Persona Sujuris, in Propio Solo, and in Propio Heredes. And we have terminated all corporate contracts on our land as we are the creditors to all the nations on earth. And what that means is don't do anything legitimately. So she preaches to not register your cars properly and ride around with Morris plates, Morris purchase internet plates. But as you can see, she does not live by her own words. Look at this. 
her plates are not Morris plates. Those are plates from whatever state she resides in, which I believe is Washington. So, essentially, she's a hypocrite. She is not one to listen to. She does not practice what she preaches because, as you can see, she clearly did not cancel all corporate contracts because she still has legal plates on her vehicles. So don't listen to her. If you listen to her and give up your plates and get pulled over and go to jail, she's not going to help you. That's clear. We are taking a look at Pauline Ritchie Moore, or also known as Light Tajiri Bay. We are taking a look at her booking sheet now that she has seen a judge as of yesterday. All right, so her current booking does look a little bit different than it did. Uh, first of all, there is a consolidated criminal trespass second degree charge here with failure to appear. The case number does appear to be somewhat different. Um, and also the making false statements with failure to appear are separate, um, look like separate offenses here. Again, 4,500 is still the bond amount. She is still in SCORE custody. Now I'm going to take you over and take a look at VineLink and also take a look at the uh, new court settings uh, so that we can take a look and see when her next court date is. So here we go with Pauline's record. It shows her to be uh, in custody still at SCORE South Correctional Regional Jail. So nothing has changed there. She is not out. Um, she still has the potential to have bail posted for her at $4,500. Uh, no one has done that up to this point. Now we're going to go over and take a look at the new court, uh, the new court schedule so that we can actually see when it is that she could potentially be seeing a judge again. All right, so if you guys will take a look at my lipstick there, you will see that the next court date is showing to be March 3rd, 2021. And uh, it looks like up until that point, unless someone comes up with bail or bond of $4,500 uh, in either cash or bond for Pauline, she is not actually going anywhere. So I guess my question, as I know many of you have also asked, would be, she is a judge, supposedly, for the Moorish American Consulate. And... Um, why is it that with all the donations and everything that are provided by those that follow, why is Pauline sitting in jail? That's a very good question. And let me take a stab at answering it. I believe that she's still in jail because King Abdullah Bey, he's still gathering a tremendous amount of paperwork to drop on the fictitious judge. So once he gathers all of his documents and presents them to the judge, they will be setting her free. And for that matter, after going on a year and a half, why is Sharon Tracy Gale sitting in jail? I think I'd be questioning the Moorish American consulate on that. Seem a little odd to anyone? Oh my gosh, yes. So we know that one of the charges that Pauline Denise Ritchie is facing is criminal trespassing. Now, there's a big possibility that she was hit with that charge because, as you know, she likes to go around to abandoned properties, put up fictitious Morris paperwork and claim the property as her own. Now we know in the real world that is not how you purchase or rather obtain 
pieces of property. But in the Morris world, that's how it's done. Now, we know these abandoned properties that these more sovereign citizens like to put their paperwork on. They're actually owned by someone. So I'm pretty sure that she went to one of these quote unquote abandoned properties and maybe a neighbor or someone wind up calling the police on her. Now let's jump into a video with her showing that she's about to go and put up said Moorish fictitious paperwork and claim a property for her Morris cult members. And Grand Rising, um, we're about to post some documents on a property here uh, at Federal Way Territory, and I wanted to sh record the demonstration and um, make sure that we see that the documents have been properly posted. Islam. So the first document is um, the here it is United States possession notification. So original indigenous uh, universal original indigenous natural divine United States possession notification document number MACW 99999 9999002 um that's the first document okay and the document after that is the universal commercial code 1 lien and financing statement and um that is also here let me just show that it has been properly noted and signed there it is and then uh, we have the embossed seal here and then we have the United States cashier's check we are going to be doing um, we are placing a 0.999 troy ounces of silver in the United States Treasury for this property um, and we will do that um, today actually it's actually already been done um, let's see then after that document is the land title the sovereign land title um, and here is the natural area code and the latitude and longitude in red and all lowercase letters, etc. Okay. And then after the land title is, let's see, is the indemnis facier uh, in red and all lowercase letters, same document number, MACW 999-999-9999-0002. It has been signed and stamped and sealed, etc. And embossed. And, um, and then there's, uh, what else? There's another document here. A couple of other documents. Let's just take a look. Um also the property tax proclamation so it's the Moorish government property tax proclamation stating that the property is not taxed pursuant to public law AA 222141A1 truth and then that's also been signed stamped sealed etc and then there's also the Moorish American Consular Court command to appear this command to appear, um, this sovereign action, dated uh, Sunday, February 7th, 1441, 3 p.m. Pacific Time, um, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Time. There will be a court action with regard to this property uh, because there are some unlawfully occupying under the fictitious corporate address of 32910 First Avenue South Federal Way Washington 98023 and that does not exist actually and um, that document has also been properly 
uh, let's see, properly stamped, sealed, embossed, signed, etc. Okay, so that's the final document as well. And so now we're going to take these documents and place them on the building. And then we'll be um, and then we'll be putting our flag up and beginning cleanup services. Um, we do see here that the building has limestone all over the place really um, here's the whole building okay so we see the property that this insane woman thinks she's about to claim now she just showed about nine or ten pieces of internet Morse paperwork and in her mind once she posts these pieces of worthless paper on this property, she will then become the owner of that property. It is an absolute shame that there are grown people in this world who think that that's how things work. And what's more frightening is the fact that this insane woman has followers that go out there and mimic what she's doing and do the same thing throughout other cities in this country. It is a shame. Now, as stated before, one of her charges is trespassing. So I'm sure she was trespassed off one of these abandoned properties that she went to put her paperwork up on, or maybe even after she came back the next day to, cause you heard her state that the property is filthy. So maybe when she came back the next day to clean up, someone called the police on her and the police then charged her with criminal trespassing. This lady is insane and you should not be following her. This is pure madness. The parking structure. And we're going to place this document on this building. The building has been abandoned for quite some time, actually. Um, apparently, there was some some arson or something that happened here that we don't know anything about nonetheless the building is still you know and then people are putting signs on the building corpses and corporations are putting signs on the building that you know they're not really that's not really a good idea because it's not those are not valid documents so we wanted to put the proper documents on the building. That being said, peace and grand rising to the sovereign heirs, Islam. This email is to inform you that there has been a change in the custody status of the offender Pauline Ritchie Moore. This offender has been released from custody. If you have any concerns about your immediate safety, contact your local law enforcement, yada, yada, yada. And then it gives you the SCORE South Correctional uh, Entity Facility number that you can contact there. Now let's go over and actually take a look at her booking status. Okay, so her booking status has been changed to general release and being out of custody. Uh, my guess would be that someone bailed her out. Now let's keep in mind that King Abdullah Bey fought very hard for this woman at her court hearing. And according to her, she got herself out of jail and that nothing that he did helped her get out of jail. And since then, she has then blocked him from contacting her because she wants to 
spin the narrative and she wants everybody to know that she got herself out of jail. Another thing, this King Abdullah Bey, he risked his freedom to try and help this woman get out of jail. He has now been charged with practicing law without a license. And this woman has the nerve to then go and block him. This lady is ungrateful and no one should be following her. She one eight two five zero nine seven five seven Z one two zero one five seven one seven Z seven one four four nine two. Emily Shepherd Conning Service the City. Your Honor, Karama Hawkins, Hawkins and Crawford. Now, Miss, there's no evidence that Miss Ritchie is present in court, uh, uh, online or otherwise. Okay. I'm representing Miss Ritchie. Okay, and, and, that, and this is why I went fine. to the other issues. That's fine, but but uh, first of all, I got to figure out if if she's competent, then she can waive counsel. Okay. Uh, I no have no objection. objection. To How, however, uh, you had a hearing with me before on a prior hearing. I believe it was on, it was on March third, and. Uh, I, asked, I demanded that you provide me with your oath of office and your official bond, uh, uh, David Larson. Uh, okay. Same thing with uh, the attorney, Ms. Harris, that just left, or I see her now. Okay. And and Jessica, um, the other attorney for the for the city, uh, okay. based upon the fact that you. You guys are human traffickers. Okay. And, 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 and that's don't under, cut me off, I please. Don't cut me off. Okay. When I finish talking, you'll know. Don't cut me off. You did that last time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm and I'll run, sir, I'll run my courtroom the way I think it needs to be no, run. I'm the court, right? sir. I'll let you speak. You said you weren't bound. I'll let you speak. Sir, but right now, you're practicing sir, law without a license. I'm not practicing law. Let's test Yes, you are. Let's see who's practicing, sir. Okay, go Let's ahead. Go ahead and speak. Okay, well, that's right. That's what, Don't cut me off again. Okay. I'm the court. Okay, as long as I'm you understand whore. that you're committing an un unlawful act by so speaking on behalf of Miss Ritchie, as long, long as you can prove it. Okay, well, it's right if now. It's being it. recorded. Well, I'm I'm recording okay. too. If okay. you can prove what you're talking about, let's test it. Okay, my court is a Moroccan court, sir. You are impostering on my court. You're an interloper. Okay. Okay. Now I ask. Absolutely. You, I ask Absolutely, you, and and I'm a witness. Okay. My this, name is Empress. Empress uh, Amina Sophia L. Bay, and, that's, and I'm a witness to this. And that's 346-339-6382 that's speaking? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so just so it's clear, as an officer, as a, as a sworn judge, I can't permit the unauthorized practice of law, Okay. And what's happening is an unauthorized practice of law. Well, let's and, test it. Okay, sir, I'll let you speak. But as long as as long as you understand when you're doing this that potentially you're subjecting yourself to criminal liability. Sir, let's test it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you saying I'm practicing law? Last time we spoke, didn't you say didn't you say you weren't bound to the U.S. Constitution and the Treaty of Peace and or the Iroquois Moorish American Treaty of Peace and Friendship? of 1787 after I broke it down to you that is the supreme law of the land and when you found out that you were bound to so-called black people oh you almost had a fit and said I'm not bound sir I said what <laughs> hand me your 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 oath of office and your official bond okay so when I'm talking to you sir I'm talking to you from the republican form of government I'm never going to speak to you from this democratic form of government which is an overthrower of my government. Yeah. So when I speak to you, I'm talking to you from law. I'm not talking to you from something you wrote. Okay? You, stuff you wrote is treasonous. Now let's test the fact that I'm, ta I'm practicing law in my state that I own, what you're trying to interlope on. I'm not going to let you interlope and use any law here in my dominions or on my land. I own over a million miles square. And you're saying I'm practicing law. 
on my land. I'm, I rule here, sir. Okay. I'm a noble. Okay. And then when you can prove what you're talking about, you better some codes. So let's t- let's test the um, the facts about what law is, and we'll we'll see what you're talking about before you even have anything to say to me. Right. Let's go. Let's go to mm-hmm. Article Six of the U.S. Constitution, sir. And we'll 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 get there, and we'll see who's practicing law. You got your you got your people here, and I have my court with me. Okay, I'm in my court. You don't have a court. Let's go. Okay, so pull up Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution. Let's talk about it. Are you ready, Mr. No Bond? Read Absolutely Article 6, ludicrous. Sir. Read Article 6. You want to play games? This is not a game when you human traffic Empress Tajiri like Bay or like Tajiri Bay. You call it ludicrous when I see you human trafficking people and telling them here's some statutes and codes for them to take, for you to take their freedom and money. Statutes and codes are not law, sir. Statutes and codes are not law, sir. Don't apply that here. So we have a treaty, sir. You know it's the supreme law of the land, right? That's what I was asking the other, the last hearing, sir. Is it disjunctive no, or conjunctive? You didn't ask anything. You don't have to ask. It's already in words. Okay. Okay. Just follow the law and you'll be fine. Don't go outside the law. You have problems with me. I have a guillotine for all of you criminals. Okay. Is that a threat, that, sir? No, this is what the law is. Is, on that, our is land. that a threat, sir? On our land and this is the law of the treaty. Are you threatening me with a guillotine? No, I said. Won't you listen to me? Don't keep reiterating something I haven't said. Okay. I'm just telling you what the penalties are. That's what I'm telling you for t- for t- for high treason. What you're, accu- what you're accusing me of? Well, I'm. When you finish, don't cut me off. I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Okay. You're going to find out right here. Okay. I'm a federal criminal investigator. I am a judge in my court. This is my land. Where is your land? Where you come from? I was born in Tacoma. Okay. You accused me of a crime, sir. Yes, I did. Well, you better have something to back it up when I finish. Okay. Well, you, you're you you're intending to speak right on behalf of, of Miss Ritchie today, aren't you? Sir, when we finish, don't cut okay. me off. Your ability to, to hold court, you can't do. This is what I'm going to show you right here. I asked you for your oath last time and your bond because you said you weren't bound. Now you want to play games like, well, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. You crook. Yes, you did. You ain't nothing, man, but a liar. And that's why I'm here to crack your face open for lying. Okay, that, is that another Stop threat? Lying. Is that another no, threat? I'm, I'm, I'm saying with words, sir. That's... Why you want everything to be a threat? I'm over here on the computer, man. Well, you're talking about breaking my face don't take open. It as a threat, man. I'm showing you, you don't have no ability to do what you're doing. And so I'm telling you, you're pretending to be a moor. Only a moor can run this rule here and be a judge here. You're not a moor. Now, as you guys have just heard, King Abdullah Bey was actually fighting pretty hard for Light to Jerry Bay. He was practicing law without a bench. Later on, he gets charged for practicing law without a bench. He threatened the judge numerous times. And how does he get thanked for his actions? Light to Jerry Bay turns around and blocks him. She is such a scumbag. I have a special guest. His name is King Abdul Mumin, and he, there is some late breaking news going on that I have been following this, and I wanted to bring it to your attention, especially all you Moors. And I have him on the show, and he'll give you a little bit of information on what's been, what has transpired. And uh, thank you all for joining us. And uh, let me bring in King Abdul. Islam, Hi, peace King. and love. Hi, peace how you doing, love, Empress King. Sophia? Thank I'm you, thank you. Great. I hope we don't have a delay in between. It sounds like we do. Yeah, I apologize for that. But I, I just thought it was important that I get on here so that we can alert the moors of what is going on in these. I can't even call them courts. 
the, what's happening and what's transpiring, that we can't allow that to happen. Not at all. Yeah. yeah, and so if you could give me, you know, a little breakdown on, on what's actually going on. Okay, um, as you know, I got a, um, a YouTube a comment made by a, prosec a, a King County public defender that sent me a comment telling me to contact him and I contacted the King County uh, public defender and he told me that a criminal charge is filed against me uh, for the conversation or the hearing we had about Empress Light. That. We got a little delay. Right. Uh, but this is uh, this this case is about Empress like me appearing in their this phony court uh, where they are claiming now that I threatened the judge and I didn't threaten the judge. It was cleared up on the record when he asked me about the the questioning of me saying I'm going to choke him out or the guillotine and he all he got it cleared up that it was all about words and. And so, as as uh, as you know, I I contacted you and let you to let you know about this federal. I mean, this criminal charge. It's not federal; it's state. And so, now we're here online, and um, we're going to need the assistance of all Moors to fight back with me. Okay. Well, good luck. To take the White House back, which belongs to the Moors. My job is to put our flag, the Moorish American flag, back up on top of the White House and uh, restore our Republican form of government. And the Republican form of government, which is owned by the Moors and, the, uh, and it's called the United States of America, uh, not the, the original government, not this Democratic one that's overthrown us. So now they're involved in trying to uh, rid me of some kind of uh, fake a phony charge and uh, we haven't ended the stream yet and I want to welcome you back and so that you can I don't know what's so that you can give the information regarding these uh, uh, criminal charges that have been uh, placed against you can you hear me Can you hear me, King Abdul? I can hear you. Okay. There was a lot of replay going on at that particular time. Did you hear all of the replay? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So, where I left off at is about them having this criminal charge against me filed in, in, uh, bogusly to enslave me the same way they do everybody else, like they did Bill Cosby. R. Kelly, and anyone else? I'm Empress uh, Sophia L. Bay, and today uh, I have King Abdul Mumin, uh, Mumin L. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. And today we are going to go over uh, a case that and charges that have been erroneously filed on King after uh, we had a hearing on March the 30th with uh, this fake judge, David Allen Larson. And I wanted to bring King Abdul on so that we can start where we left off the last time we were uh, going live. So welcome to my channel, King Abdul. Well, thank you very much, much Empress Sophia. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, yes. So what I want to do is uh, talk about the hearing that we were involved in on Zoom because it was our courts. And I'm also a witness because I was there with you. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. And uh, I remember uh, you educating this judge and he uh, would listen 
and you started educating him on the law, the supreme law of the land. Is that correct? Correct. I don't know if you guys could tell, but this lady that's conducting this interview, she was also on the Zoom call when King Abdullah threatened the judge. She was the other voice. But the way she's conducting this interview, in their minds, they think that this interview is also a court or a court action. They they think that they're in their Moroccan court and all of this is pretty much on the record. Like these people just live in the land of make believe, but I digress. Okay. And so while we were in this this hearing, uh can you further expand on your thoughts about what this judge has done? And I want to talk about what has transpired since that uh, hearing of these new fake charges that have been brought against you by Judge uh, David Allen Larson. King? Yes. Yes. Um, Yes. He he's mad because I I beat him up in open court. He had no defense or no legs to stand on while he was doing his human trafficking of many people, and not only uh, Empress Light, but many people. And um, he found that he was playing right, you know, or he was. He found out that he knew he was lying, and he had to go on to his strategy of no matter what we say with the truth, they're going to win. As long as they have the Pharaoh's children's ink pen, uh, we're going to lose. So we have to get our, our ink pens back. That's the reason why I was in that court in the first place to go to see, to go to, uh, to the White House to remove Joe Biden and the rest of these con men that's in our places. Dude, what the hell are you talking about? Excuse me, sir, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? You were not on that Zoom call because you needed to go to the White House and remove Joe Biden and get the Pharaoh's ink pen back. You were on the Zoom call because you thought you were going to be able to represent your master teacher like to Jerry Bay in her court case. And the judge let you speak. He told you numerous times that if you proceeded on talking they would possibly charge you with practicing law without a license. Nevertheless, they didn't charge you with that, but they did charge you with threatening the judge as you threatened to, you threatened him with a guillotine and and something else. Like this man right here, King Abdullah Bey, he is so delusional. Like you could just see what he, what he is speaking about in his answer is incoherent with like he's all over the place this man is clearly mental he needs to be in a mental facility he should not be on the street this guy is off his rocker point blank period absolutely so he, yes so he was really mad because he he charged me as practicing law uh, in the state of Washington, if you remember that part. And yes, I do. When he, yeah, and when he challenged me, I said, let's test it. And he he wasn't ready for the test. And he got beat up. Excuse me, King Abdul, but what in the doohickey are you talking about? You did not test the judge. The judge warned you numerous times that if you wanted to proceed, there was a possibility that you would be charged with practicing law without a license because you were trying to stand in as light to Jerry Bay's lawyer. So you decided to continue with, with trying to represent light to Jerry Bay. So he let you do that. 
Now the after effects is now you are facing charges of practicing law without a license. You are a fool. And now Light to Jerry Bay has disowned you for even helping her. So all of this was for nothing. These Morris individuals are all snakes and a bunch of fools. Islam, it's Dr. Nayila Inana Il here from the House of Reawakening Minds. Hello. Hello there, Dr. G. This is King Abdul Muminil. How you been? I know I'm Friday. okay. I know Friday is your day to get busy. I just wanted to well, chat with you real quick. If you I'm know. real busy because we're preparing for <laughs> Grand Sheik 75th Solar Return, and I'm trying to send out links Man, to people. I know yeah. already. Okay, yeah, so I uh, <laughs> um, can we talk tomorrow? 100%. Okay, because that would be... <laughs> I got some work. I got. I, I I made an appearance for Light to Jury Bay over here where I'm at. Okay. And, and how? And were you successful? Or because I know she's still in. What if I knew? Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. What I did is I talked to the attorney of record that's on her case, and I kicked her butt yesterday on a conference call with my assistant. Did you get a chance to look at my paperwork and listen to the recording? Um, no, I listened to some of the recording, but I, and I didn't get the chance to look at the paperwork. I did, did talk to Sister Light yesterday. She called. Great. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she called Grand Sheik and he was here. So, we, Beautiful. you know. Yeah, I, I worked hard to get her out if, if, as you can, as you listen, you know. Yeah, well, she said she. Because nobody could represent her, but herself, you know. Ultimately, no, no they had yeah. her locked up. I know what I'm talking about. No, yeah. believe me, I know nobody can represent her, but she had somebody yeah. representing her. And, well, she mentioned, uh -huh. but she said she had to ultimately get herself out of that based on her. Nah. You know, yeah. Wow. So you just heard that. This Morris woman, Dr. G, has spoken to Light to Jerry Bay, and Light to Jerry Bay told her that King Abdullah did not help her, or at least didn't help her get out of jail. Only she could do that. So pretty much Light to Jerry Bay is not even appreciative of the fact that this Morris fool... King Abdullah came on multiple Zoom courts, pretended to be a lawyer in her defense. He actually tried to help her, even though he really couldn't. He actually did, in fact, try and help her. He, he is now actually facing charges because of the foolishness and the way he conducted himself on these Zoom courts on these zoom calls so the fact that light to jerry bay is not even appreciative of that fact just shows you how psycho this whole morris movement is this man then risk his own freedom to practice law without a license and you then turn around and say no he didn't help me I could only help myself. Wow. I'm telling you now, I'm from this side of town. I spent 10 years locked up. I was even in score jail. She had a bail. You she don't had a bail? Yeah, she had a bail, one, three of them. One for 500, the other for 2,000. Two, the, the next one, was 2000 and then she had one that was included in the 500 one so all together was 4500 you're not getting out you listen to my this huh well how did she get out i got her out I oh, she thinks she got herself out again. i know i know that's the thanks i get for coming up here to save your ungrateful behind that's what she's gonna think but we got a court date coming down you need to look at my paperwork how i got her out 
you don't understand. A paperwork mm-hmm. about high treason, uh, war crimes, and taking back our Republican form of government. And that paperwork was entered into record and my notice of appearance and stuff, you have all of it. Mm-hmm. And it's time to close them out. You know? So mm-hmm. that's why I contacted you, you know, to let you know this is, and if you, if you read, over, read over the paperwork, and uh, that's why I was asking you to uh, read it online once you accept that, uh, uh, that, that position, if it's possible. You know what I mean? What, this is her paperwork no. stuff? The paperwork I filed on her behalf at, for a uh, federal way. That's okay. Yeah, she didn't get her out. She didn't get herself out. I got her out. Uh, you re- you listen to my audio I sent you. You'll hear you'll hear what happened. She got out the next day because I I put the, I put the screws down on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you if you don't mind. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to read that online. I can't. I mean, no, 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 no. It's not much. Okay. It's not much. You just read I mean, it over. I'm about her case. I'm, I, I, I don't want to do no, that. I'm, I'm asking you to read it over before before you do anything. There's nothing okay. demanded of you. Nothing demanded of you. It's what oh, no, we, I know, but mm-hmm. I'm just saying I wouldn't right. no read problem. something about somebody who's not obviously saying <laughs> whatever she's saying different. I'm just not, not that I, I don't believe you. I I'm just not going to start no, you know what I mean? All, all due respect to you. And that's why I'm calling you. You know, I'm telling you, we have problems. A lot of right. people have been getting locked up because they've been listening to your. That, your, that your, doesn't your. mean I can't send vote to you when they, you know, when they have a problem. And I won't, that doesn't mean I won't do that, but I'm oh, not I going. You, I you, you. you know, I won't. Yeah. It's a conflict and all that stuff in there. Yeah. That's not yeah. what I'm saying. I, right. I got all that. But, but what I was saying to you, it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about all of us. From the conditions we've been set upon, I need you to read the documentation so you can see at least my points of view of the legal arguments I put down. And okay, then, I mean, I can look at that, but I mean, that's that all I'm asking. Yeah, I can look at that, but yeah. I thought, when you said read, I thought you meant you wanted me to read it online. Well, I could do that myself, you know. Right, I asking, well, I that means you once I do it, I'm counsel. Okay, mm-hmm. but I, I'm, I'm over her case. Mm. No. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm over the whole case. Her case. Believe me. Okay. When you read the paperwork, you'll see I'm over her case. I stepped in. Every day we're at war. Our enemies don't sleep. We can't sleep. I don't sleep. I'm, I wake up, I'm battling. Okay. I got, see, got, I like, she thinks she got herself out. She's highly delusional. She does, think. Yeah, I know she does. You see my paperwork. And this, you got the paperwork. You got the recording of what, uh, of the of the negotiations for the release of light. And uh, then I'm going to give you the next day for uh, Fatima and Sharon. Because y'all are responsible for them, as far as I'm concerned. Because whoever created that council at court stuff, and everybody jumps in on the bandwagon, and and you know, uh, the top dog is responsible. I didn't create. The- <laughs> I didn't say you did. I know law. I know people who create stuff and put people in it. Let me. I know what happened though when it's when it started. The person who created it doesn't isn't even active anymore. No, that's not even what I'm saying though. Here's what I'm saying. The people, after, like you said, it got disbanded or whatever, everybody else started creating their own. Like, I'm going to create my own council at court. That's all I've been seeing. They just spring up. <laughs> I was like, damn, y'all don't even know law. They just spring up. <laughs> I was like, ooh, wee. <laughs> now, this is a great conversation that these two Morris individuals are having because this is like, First of all, King Abdullah is recording this conversation, and I'm sure um, this 
Morris woman, Dr. G, doesn't even realize that he's recording the conversation. But you see that they're having a conversation about all of these Morris consulates that pop up. And now that one of the originators of the first Morris consulate is not even active. So they're pretty much having a conversation stating that none of these Morris consulates are even legitimate to them, the creators of it, which is absolutely like ridiculous to begin with. How do you guys, Morris Alvarez citizens, create this Morris consulate and then they want us regular citizens of the United States to respect this consulate, but behind closed doors, you Morris individuals don't even respect the the very consulate that you create and try to come into the uh, U.S. court system talking about talking all this jurisdiction and go see my consul general. Like you guys don't even respect your very own creation. So that just shows that this whole Morris movement is in shambles. I wouldn't join this for nothing. <laughs> you see my interview with um, Lamont L. last week? I didn't hear you. What you said? Did you see my interview with Lamont L. last week? No, no. I was busy, man. Look, all week, there's been phone call after phone call after phone call. People locked up, collect calls. Man, you don't know, Dr. G. I know what you do know, but I'm saying, you know, I know what it's like to be locked up for nothing. For 10 years and waiting to get home every day i yearn for my people my children and uh i was i had i had indigestion every day dr g the day i got out the indigestion left i said oh wow the indigestion is gone uh yeah. hope, hope you contacted like because she unfriended me and and so on wow so a lot has transpired in this Morris community. So this is another phone call that King Abdullah Al is now having with Dr. G. And you heard what he just said. Light to Jerry Bay has unfriended him. All I can say is light to Jerry Bay is an ungrateful Because this man, King Abdullah, has risked his freedom by practicing law without a license, trying to get this woman out of prison. And now she is unfriending him. Why? Because she wants to tell the narrative that she got herself out. That's how big headed light to Jerry Bay is. She wants everyone to believe that she is the head honcho and that she can do it herself. This man literally tried to help her out. Now, granted, he didn't actually help her, but the fact that she is now unfriending him because she wants to run the narrative that she got herself out of jail, it just says a lot about her character and it just in general generally speaking it just says a lot about this fictitious morris movement and all of this government crap that they that they preach this morris movement is a joke and these people are delusional um islam who's speaking I, I noticed that they didn't. Hey, Grand Sheik. Oh, man. You know I need to speak with you, brother. We're at a heavy time of war. But continue. Yeah. Isn't, it, isn't it interesting how they admit that they have no jurisdiction, then they're trying to exercise jurisdiction? Now, just in case you guys aren't aware, that voice that you're hearing is none other than Taj Tariq Bey. He is one of the co founders of all of this complete madness and the very reason why so many of these people are going to prison 100 percent, brother you know like but I, 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 that's 
that whole conversation is to intimidate the public. Exactly. He know he know that he got to produce that bond and a quo warranto. Man, I need you, man. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll talk. As a matter of fact, when we come back, we'll talk. By any means necessary, that's what they're doing. Okay. And we well, have to, Sister Light doesn't know anything about that. What happened? I, I, she uh, look. I tried to call her, tell her, long time ago. She just exed me. So I do what I do because I'm in my dominions, and this was all pre-planned. Because you, if you listen to the other hearings, I waxed the floor out with them. They had to be. <laughs> anyway, anyway, just uh, it's chronological. And I sent you my notice of appearance where I had amended the, amended my uh, notice of appearance to include that. Yeah, that, uh, did you, yeah. Did you, you see? A D B N S. I didn't understand that. He said a D B N S. A D B N S. Okay. okay. He's far away. I couldn't really hear. He said a D B N D B N S. Okay, what's that? A DBNS is is court on paper. You, okay. you appear. Yeah, well, yeah, we are the court. But the, the yeah, thing is, I'm just saying, we'll talk when we when we get back. I'll talk. Hey, overdue. overdue, overdue. We got to get our people in line. Islam, peace yeah. and love. Islam. Love you too, brother. More than you know. You did great work too. I just want you to know that. I commend you with the highest yeah. part of my heart of, as I can give you, just like the efforts I have. When I you when you see me at war with these crooks, peace and love, brother. Get busy. Peace, good bro. All right, it's mom, doctor. Talk with you. It's mom. It's mom. Call me when it's coming. It's mom. Islam and Prince. How is it going? Thank, thank you. I'm well, thank you. That's great, great. I haven't heard from you. I <laughs> sent you a couple of texts uh, on both phones uh, to let you know about the hearing tomorrow with Empress Light at this federal oh. municipal. Oh, are, are you are you doing something with her case or something? I never finished with the case. Oh, because she said she wasn't. She wasn't. She was doing whatever she did. She said she got out on her own. <laughs> no, she didn't. They still mm -hmm. try, they're still trying her, <laughs> and I'm appearing for her. Does she know it? Look, I don't know how people are funny and phony. That's what I know about people. I'm a realist, okay? Mm -hmm. And I don't have no need to lie and cheat anybody, especially with the caliber of work I put in, okay? So mm -hmm. I know many people that's been locked up. I saw her video where she was saying she was in there holding court and she was doing this and doing that. But uh, I've seen as many people out there begging to get out. Real, real serious cases and they ain't letting them out at all. Right. She had a $4,500 bail. Okay. Mm -hmm. she had, and, and she had a warrant for her arrest in another county. Did you know that? She did what now? She had a, a warrant for her arrest in another county. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, if you were to, if I got a recording that was show that how I talked to this attorney and negotiated for a release, I sent it to you. I know you've been busy, but you should uh, take a listen to it. Mm, okay, so she, she had another warrant other than the one that she was arrested for? Look. Okay, so we see there's a lot going on here. Now, King Abdullah Bey stepped in as light to Jerry Bey's lawyer. The judge warned him numerous times that if he would continue, he could possibly be charged with practicing law without a license. So King Abdullah proceeded, and now... The judge has filed charges against King Abdullah for practicing law without a license. So this man, King Abdullah, risked his freedom to help 
his master teacher Light to Jerry Bay, and now Light to Jerry Bay has turned her back on poor King Abdullah, all because she wants to run the narrative that she got herself out of jail. This is all craziness. This Morris community, all of these people are nuts. They need mental evaluations. So now, being that this whole video is about Light to Jerry Bay and the case that she caught, let's hear from Light to Jerry Bay that she tells the story about what happened when she got arrested. I was detained on the 8th of uh, February. But I'll tell you how the, even the detainment happened because it really wasn't an accident. It was essentially voluntary. The calming mechanism was when one of the empresses here said, we don't have to do anything. Light can free herself. She was absolutely right, because you know what? No one else can free us. We all have to be competent to free ourselves, and we've been given the keys to do that. So how the uh, detainment happened is uh, the justice and I were on a property, and we had talked about this property uh, on, the, on the 7th, the Sunday before, saying that we were going to go over there. And, you know, we did, we did what more normally do when on our estate. We cleaned it up because it was looking a gigantic mess. And um, as, as we were cleaning up, we had been there a, a, a good while. But w even when we first got there, because we said what we said on the call, the fire marshal was already there when we got there, but he was parked just outside the property on, um, on the, in the driveway. And the reason he wanted to just see that we, if we were there or not is because the building had, um, there, apparently they were claiming that there was some arson uh, at the building. That's what the corporates were claiming. And um, he was there, and then the policy enforcers came, but they parked across the way, across the street. And they just sat and watched and watched. They wanted to see what we were doing. And, you know, the place had homeless clothing everywhere and all of that. So we were picking up the homeless clothing and, and putting it near a container that was there. A, tr a, a trash container that was there. And um, we got everything cleaned up. And mind you, on this property is, um, you can see our ancient temples sticking out of the ground. So after a while, um, the the there was a group of about, first, the ones claiming the property, which were, I, I'm not sure where they were from, but they were from, you know, someplace like um, Russia Corporation or Ukraine Corporation. It, it, it didn't really matter. They came and they were saying, um, you know, what's going on? What, what are you doing here? What, what is this? You know, thank you for cleaning it up, but what's going on? What happened? Well, we didn't say anything to them. We didn't have to say anything to them because it's not their property. So after a while, they stayed there for a good while trying to get us to talk to them. And then when we wouldn't talk to them, they called the policy enforcers. The policy enforcers came. There was about six of them in like four, four or five conveyances. And um, they approached and they were casting spells, you know, leave this property, leave this property, and if you come back, we're going to charge you with um, 
trespassing. Well, they weren't talking to me. They were talking to the dead. So I didn't respond to them either. And they said that a few more times. And I, I knew, I knew where, where all of that was going. I knew where it was going. And I'm just so grateful that Justice Amos was there and he knew what to do. And um, after a while, the policy enforcer said, go that way to your car. This is private property. And I have gotten his permission to enforce this property. So that was a lesson for me, too, that the policy enforcers had to get the fake corporate permission to do anything. So when he said go in that direction towards your car, I went in the opposite direction because they don't, they don't, they, he wasn't talking to me. And that was the first jurisdictional demonstration that I did there. Okay, so what happened was Light to Jerry Bay returned back to the property that she placed her Morris Internet paperwork on and started cleaning up the property. The real owners show up, tell her to leave the property. She doesn't listen, so they call the cops. The cops come, tell her to get off of the property. She doesn't listen to them, so they arrest her. Point blank period. This lady is nuts. She really thought in her mind that putting up her paperwork on the wall of that property, in her mind she thought that then gave her ownership to that property. And sadly she had to learn the hard way that that Morris crap doesn't work. This lady is nuts. You can clearly see it in her face. She is mental. And it is mind-boggling that there are grown adults out there that actually follow this lady. The only place you'll be following her, if you keep listening to her, is jail. You see, she already got arrested for trespassing. And so will you, if you keep following this nutbag. Now let's get another quick word from Light to Jerry Bay. Peace and Grand Rising. Uh, I am Justice Light to Jerry Bay. In propria persona sujuris and capitus diminutus show nolo. In propria, in propio Paredes and in propio solo. Um, I see an empty flagpole. Um, and this is an abandoned post office, clearly it is, um, it's open, as you can see, uh, yeah, that's, that's open, um, this gate, back here is open as well, it is abandoned because there's no, flag here. Uh, it's wide open, as you can see. So um, we're going to um, hoist our flag up today. So that we can have a rightful, lawful claim. Islam. So I'm going to go ahead and put our flag up on the flag. This is a National United States Post Office Public Works Announcement. I am United States Fiduciary Pauline Denise Ritchie. I'm also the National United States Postmaster. This Public Works Announcement is to the public and to all workers in the Office of United States Postal Service regarding National United States Post Office Operations continuation as of March 21st, 2023. The United States Post Office does hereby announce 
that National United States Post Office Work Program will continue in trust on March 21st, 2023 at the United States Post Office. National United States Post Office programs shall con be continued in alignment with mandatory national standards governing worker requirements. Although operational program upgrades and personnel changes will affect services, work will continue as program upgrades are fully and efficiently activated. Some eligible workers will be offered work positions as the positions open for a smooth transition to the national system. Previous workers who accept positions with the National United States Post Office may be able to transfer health and retirement entitlement according to national program standards. National United States Post Office government will continue to evaluate the environment and activate work programs and provide further information as work circumstances allow. The National United States Post Office is positioned to accommodate the continued monumental rise in industrial production activity directly related to the growing economic forecast for America. Our future is bright. Our way is prosperous. America is a great land. This National Public Works announcement is hereby distributed to the public immediately. Thank you. So what you just witnessed is light to Jerry Bay going to a post office that she claims to be abandoned, but it clearly wasn't. She goes and hoists up her Morris flag, and now in her mind, she is the owner of that property. And now she turns around and makes an infomercial and has given herself the title of United States Postmaster. This lady is living in the twilight zone. She clearly has mental issues. She thinks she is now the United States Postmaster. If her followers don't see by now that this woman is sick in the head, then they are also sick in the head. This lady is selfish. Poor King Abdullah Bey tried to help her, and then she blocks him after doing that. She is not someone to be following. If you follow her, you will go to jail just like she did. This lady is mentally ill.